the future of animal agriculture, a holistic approach by Dr. P. S. Manish. The audience is very good. For me, it's the last over. I have to score every ball six. That is the thing now. Let me try. So let me start with the story uh, where Prakash and uh, Sri Shreff. A woman dies in the US on 15 January 2017. A big hoopla happens in India. A big thing happens in the Ministry of Health. There is a notice issued to all the drug controllers, all the people in India in 2017, January 15. What happened? Anybody read it? It is super bug. Just go to Google, type super bug in the Economic Times, you get the whole story. The story is simple. The lady came in India two years back in Delhi. She went with a fracture of hip bone and she got admitted in Delhi hospital. She could not respond for a while and shifted back to the US and treated in CDC Atlanta. And now she has been identified with Delhi related phage. That means the super bug is picked up from Delhi and that is resistant to 27 antibiotics. The UN has issued a notice to India and everyone has issued a notice that be alert, super bug is emerging from India. So this is the status now. So we have to be alert. So now what I thought when uh, the team called me to give a talk on uh, this day, I said, you know, let me think differently. Let me propose something like holistic approach for the problems what we are facing. That's why we called a world card, world card, green card. So let me do the last over for you. So this is the first picture I want your attention. So what is this? So you see the worms going down. Agriculture worm is going down, only 18%. Livestock sector is part of it, but where a service sector you know, is going up 56%. What are the numbers? This is the latest numbers for you. So we are now contributing almost 28% together, of which 11.4% is only pure agriculture. 3.9% is livestock, where we include poultry also. 1.4% is forestry, 0.9% is fisheries. This is the numbers for your government if you want. 29 lakh crores of GDP from agriculture. Livestock, we are producing 6.24, poultry is 1 lakh crores, and these numbers, pure agriculture is very small, 18.2. What is the total GDP? 160 lakh crores, that is 2.3 billion. And now I am putting a question for you. Why poultry? Why protein? I have a different analogy here. See the data which I collected. See, rice 134% or 147%, population will increase by 134%, rice 147 growth, wheat 300% growth. I see the core cereal stabilized, did not change. Pulses dwindling, we have to import nearly 14 million metric tons every year from abroad. What is this question? Why is this question? The question is population is growing. Carbohydrates are growing, protein is dwindling. That is the answer I want you to understand. That is why we need poultry for India. See, this is the scenario now. We have become carbohydrates and break. Morning rice, chapati, afternoon rice, chapati, evening rice, chapati. Where is the protein? Gone are the days of pulses, grams, and other things which were eaten even in the morning with Rani Buddha and even in the afternoon with the Buddha. But now there is nothing. There is nothing there for us. But we know the facts. Two eggs can give you 13 grams. Almost 100 grams of chicken can give you 300 grams. Nevertheless, we have vegetarian protein also. That is somebody wants. But what I want to drive upon is protein, protein, protein. We are becoming a protein deficient country. Now you see what are the factors which can make us sustainable. We need to be sustainably producing protein. Otherwise, with the growth of 134% population, we are not addressing that. So land is dwindling. Other day, I received a call from Harish Narwale. In Pune, they are doing the cage system for broilers, multi layer systems. Space is not available. You will be facing a challenge for land. Water, we need good water. We need a portable water. We need water which is, you know, less with, as Nadu mentioned, but as he mentioned, that we don't want hard water, we want soft water. And we don't want to contaminate the groundwater also. In Namakkal, there is a big problem of contamination with the groundwater. 
by the poultry industry there, groundwater is being contaminated. We have to think differently. Coming into greens. There is a big question here. What is this? Grain versus animal protein? Hunger for food. I have been debating always. You destroy hatching eggs, you do this, you do that. But are we not destroying grains indirectly? Are we not competing in the human food indirectly? This will be a question for you. You have to produce more from the less. That will be the answer tomorrow. You cannot say I will use everything and destroy. That is not the point. Then why is that we have to gamble? If there is no monsoon, good monsoon in years to come, we will be facing a difficulty. We are located in such a, a region, we have to face this gambling. What are this? El Nino and La Nino. That's simple concepts. Temperature increases 0.5 degree in Atlantic Ocean, those years you will not find any day, you will find drought. Temperature decreases, you will find good years. What is the growth? 8% in La Nino years, El Nino years minus 2.3%. This is a simple pattern available. It is nothing big science, it is happening. So this is a simple picture to indicate if the temperature increases in Indian area, you will not get rain happening. If the temperature decreases there, you will have plenty of rain happening in India. 15, 16, that is where the drought. And what are the energy we are using for in poultry? We are using energy for water, feeding, hatchery, lighting, brooding, everything is energy. Cost involved in that. Coming into the last point, environment. We are becoming a social problem now. How do we address that? Smell, dead bird issue, fly nets. These are the three things which will ponder you continuously think on that. How do we address that? Then comes consumer, the king. The king is changing, king is demanding. King wants differently. So what is that he is asking? He wants food safety and quality certifications. He says that whatever you supply, I will not take it. You supply what I want. So that is the driving force now. People are asking, can we label Indian chicken by method of production? Otherwise, they want to charge lower welfare tax. That means you don't, you are not putting a welfare to the animals or the birds. We will charge you lower welfare tax for the things which you are doing. Or put the label, cage-free production. So these are the difference which are open in the market. And now coming to my proposition. What is that we want to propose? How do we look at green water as a concept? So this is the concept I want to float. Can we think differently for our quality production? Can we have a sustainable approach giving back to the mother nature, sustaining something in the poultry? So I want to focus on solar, water harvesting. Can we have a concept for solid liquid waste management? Can we produce power of the meter, which is so energy you know, conservant? Can we have a concept which is certifiable biosecurity and compartmentalization? So these are the things. So this is one picture which is very common nowadays. Now I will tell you, 100 kilowatt project would cost you somewhere around 60 to 70 lakhs. So now solar power has come down to 5-7 crores per 1 megawatt. Can you think of direct injection? What is direct injection? Daily usage. For example, to run your automation, your bore wells, your daytime hatchery management, or any of your automation systems, can you think of direct injection? Storage is a problem, but can we do it? This is what the thinking. See, see, simple borewell, five kilowatt, six kilowatt. Put, put a facility in your farm. You will have an advantage, a differentiator in your farm. That I am doing my quality production differently, using solar system as an energy conserving to the system. And this is the picture in Minnesota, hundred megawatt project. See, Bangalore requires three thousand megawatt every day. Karnataka requires nine thousand megawatt of which one third we wanted. I debated with the mayor and the CEO that day, can we have such projects in Bangalore? Can we have a 100 megawatt project? We can do it. So you can just Google it to Fiber Tech. The company does an integration with broiler farming companies and the government there. They have a simple procedure. They take broiler litter, do a briquet formation with paddy husk or wooden shavings, that they use it in a steam uh, turbine to produce the power. Can we think of this? Can we think of a small project? Also? This is a picture in Russia. And this is our picture of lifeline. Mr. Hegner has done already 60 kilowatt project in his breeding farm in Chikmanglu. And another one. Can we catch a lot of these falls? I told you we are gambling with Lamino and El Nino. So what is the answer? Where is that we can store? 
only place is Mother Earth. You can't create big jet dams, you can't create big areas, but you can store it definitely in the same borewell which you are digging up. What is the simple method? We have done in my institute, you can visit. I will show you with the demonstration, it costs you 30, 40 thousand rupees. That's it. Oh. The first casing create holes in a particular pattern, uh, 50 feet depth. Use large boulders, small boulders, then charcoal, then sand, put the water running off from your poultry sheds. It can store millions of gallons of water. And if you recharge one borewell, the besides, you know, 5 borewell which you have in your farm, they get automatically recharged. You need not have to recharge all the borewell because the undercurrents are same. So this will cost you 40-50 thousand rupees. This will be a differentiator in your farm. This is what you do. I want you to observe on that. And this is the new system of biosecurity by Mr. Heredit. I remember this, you know, Chitradurga Fort. Chitradurga Fort is seven layers. You know, this is two layer fort, two layer fort. 100 meters, he don't want people to come to the gate also. Lali doesn't want to come, he doesn't want Lali to come to the gate. This is the thinking, this is the differentiator. Can you think like this? And this is the picture of compartmentalization of Avengen Farm in Coimbatore. We have done through Government of India 3 4 farms compartmentalization. What is the concept? Let anything happen in India if a farm is protected, if a farm is compartmentalized, certified for export. You can produce anything in spite of alien influence or notification, you can export from this unit. As per the OIE guidelines, you get a certificate. This is being done in three four farms in India. And this is the picture I put it because I visited a division. I have to take almost like a minimum of eight baths. And my school sample was sent to London for testing for that. Otherwise, they won't allow you to visit. So that is the level of biosecurity. You see the place there? You go have a shower and then go for that. And that is the entry. If I push back this picture, this is the entry point here. This is where you will be getting a you know, wash facility there. And these are the pictures you will be going to see in India. Volume of production is going to increase. Sneha farms, 5 lakh broiler production, they have 10 units. In Hyderabad, not, I am not talking from any other group. Indian broiler is taking a large scale production. These are the pictures which you are going to see in India in near future. See the imagination there, feed mill in center of a broiler production unit. Because the, the logistics, the transportation, the control they want, they want to produce huge number of volumes with energy conservation. They don't want to transit from one place to another place. They want to have similarly the biosecurity at place and do the things in a better way. And this is a simple chart, you can Google it, you get it. The simple concept of biosecurity. Clean, sweet, brain, foam, everything, simple. You just Google it, you get it. Another I share the presentation. And now I want your attention here. Leave the play. You are not bothered. But see the picture of USA, USD certified label chicken. What is the clear label? They are labeling no antibiotics ever, feed, fed with all vegetarian diet, no animal byproducts, humanely raised, raised cage free. This is going to come. Consumer will start going into US, he starts, can you label this? Can you give me any label of this on a certificate? Then I will buy you chicken. What are you going to do? So get prepared fast. So you see here, all natural, no antibiotic administered, USA chicken. You can see there, it is a dated as, you know, July 12, 2012. Then it's a, this, this sort of a labeling, all vegetable diet, no animal product product, minimally processed. That is another word. No artificial ingredients, another word. No preservatives, no artificial growth hormones, humanely raised. See, these are the certifications USDA is giving. And you can see there A grade, USDA A grade. You may find USDA B grade, C grade, D grade, D e grade. So this will come to India also. The days are not far. You see the shelves. You find organic. You find cage free. You find farmers hen horse. That means you know farmers den from the backyard. So these are the labelings people are doing across the world. And this is our own man. I love this gentleman. I think you would have seen him now the FM radio is coming, 200% cash back, Lucius. A Kashmiri guy migrated from uh, Kashmir, he's a volunteer, he lost his legs. He came to my office and he told the entire story, Mohan Das Pai funded him, now 
He is the first online meat marketing company in India. Doing wonderful, wonderful. You can see the packaging. Deliciously good. And we are now merging. As I told you in the beginning, we want protein. We want vegetarian. This is the advertisement of the Grofers company. They don't differentiate veg and non-veg. They want you to order both fiber and protein together. Take the fiber as a vegetarian. Take protein as you know, chicken as non-vegetarian. And this is the lovely picture recently put it. Can you imagine? A poultry company can go to an extent of putting a whole page advertisement. What is the concept? Tool. Meat tool. First time meat tool. See the, see the courage of the that the company, they will take you tour to their units. Consumer is a royal king. They will provide you a tour to the sheep unit, the chicken unit, the everything. everything. This is the differentiator. This is what people are doing, innovatively thinking, going for forward sustainability, presenting India's first meat tour. See the page advertisement in Times of India recently. And this is a beautiful advertisement. I want you to observe it. Can you tell me what is this? It is simple, the concept is hygiene, innovatively put by KFC. His mouth is plastered because the eating there, it is finger lickingly good. So I want that fellow should not lick. So that is the message, that is the innovation. People are doing innovatively marketing. You have to differentiate yourself, you have to market differently. See, this is the restaurant in Bangalore now. So all of a sudden, bombshell in Indian market, one million dollar shops, one million dollar specialty restaurants, Nando's, Peri Peri Chicken, it's abroad, you know, very famous in Europe and the USA. He charges a small bucket, 750 rupees, 800 rupees, 1000 rupees, people are there. Think differently as a specialty restaurant, see the courage and the conviction of this company, Going for such a huge investment, coming into Bangalore. Bangalore is an experimental place all over India. Bangalore love for the world. This is the thing which are done. And yet factory. Again, one gentleman sat in Bangalore. 75 lakhs investment per outlet. Five outlets. He says, I realize one egg 75 rupees. Because his, his simple Mexican omelet is 250 rupees. So these are the differentiators in the market which is happening. And coming last, please address this too. What is this? Chicken bomb. In Hesagata, where I live, almost 14 15 shops, each shop will be clean in the morning. Go there in the evening, that one cleans up nicely, puts a new order and under other bhakti, everything, and packs his all his dirt in a plastic bag and goes off one kilometer, two kilometer in a scooter or omni, looks this side, that side, toes it. This is a chicken bomb. What is this? This we public, go public. People know, asking everybody to come out in the market to tell about molestation that happened. We have to go public about this. Tell that chicken shops are throwing chicken bombs. Order. What is this? 60 tons in the production of shops in Chennai. He is processing 20 tons, probably now 30 tons. Logistical model. He buys 2 rupees 35 paisa, entire shop waste, landed into his outlet, his factory. One crore was his investment. So he is now targeting by 2018 all 60 tons of chicken waste in Chennai to be processed. So these are the things which are happening. See, he converts into a meal. Wonderful concept. He has done a biogas production and he faced the problem of smell. He is very much located near an airport in Chennai. What did he do? He water after 5 6 hours. This water he is putting into 9 acre area to create a green land. Wonderful concept. One acre processing plant area, the generation plant, nine acres green. So he will be proposing for a Swachh Bharat Award recently. So ultimately we have only one more out. Okay, take care. Please take care. More of the rest should be the mantra. Have in your mind at the end of the day, I can't have a luxury of producing less from more. Days have gone. Government has become a vision. Every day you have to work two times, two jobs, three jobs.
Thank you so much.